Railroads have always been of paramount importance to the Army. Here at the Transportation Center at Fort Eustis, there are some 41 miles of railroad track, and within this system, the center is capable of teaching every aspect of railroad operation. The Army's Transportation Railway Service has an impressive record of tonnage moved during World War II and again in Korea. Under wartime conditions, Army railroaders are often called upon to assist to operate foreign railway systems. Although most of the world's railroads use diesel-electric locomotives, our military railway men must be able not only to operate these trains, but must learn as much as possible about the different types of railway equipment which they may encounter. In the maintenance shop at the Transportation Center's rail yard, soldiers are trained on upkeep procedures, such as periodic inspections and adjustments of electrical components of a diesel locomotive. There are still a large number of countries where steam locomotives are the only railroad engines being used. Because of this, soldiers at the Transportation Center are taught to operate and take care of these older, more picturesque locomotives. Transportation rail units have locomotive engineers, brakemen, conductors, and even skilled repairmen who are capable of repairing everything from a leaky steam locomotive boiler to a broken car wheel. Through the Fort Eustis military railway system, transportation soldiers have the opportunity to become skilled in railroading with both steam and diesel electric power. These highly trained Army railroaders are essential to the movement of large contingents of troops and endless shipments of heavy military materials. 